Welcome to our math talk for order of operations. Order of operations, commonly referred to as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or the acronym PEMDAS, is a crucial law that you will use throughout all levels of math. If you remember PEMDAS and how to use it, you can conquer daily math. The P stands for parentheses, E for exponents, M and D for multiplication and division, and A and S for addition and subtraction. This is basically a mathematical hierarchy. Who rules who? As we know, math is read from left to right, but now we have to allow the strongest signs to go first. We find our parentheses and evaluate or simplify whatever is inside of that. Then we look for exponents and evaluate those. A radical or square root sign would be included in this step, as it is the inverse operation of an exponent. The P would include brackets. What about if an exponent is on the outside of a parentheses? Then we still simplify the inside, then follow through with the exponent. Those are the first two levels of PEMDAS. The next level has some equality. Remember that we stated the square root is an inverse operation of an exponent? Inverse operations mean they are opposite functions. So multiplication and division are inverse operations. Multiplying by two is the opposite of dividing by two. Since they have equal power, we will evaluate from left to right with whatever comes first. If a problem reads four times five divided by two, we would do the four times five to give 20, then divide by two to get 10. Although it would give the same answer, but by doing five divided by two, then multiplying by four, let's keep things simple and read left to right. The final level, the lowest power, if you will, is another equality level, addition and subtraction. They are also inverse operations. Remember though, if four plus three is in parentheses, that would be evaluated first. Let's try some problems. First, let's do three plus five times the parentheses four plus three. Pause now to work it out. Your answer should be 38. Four plus three equals seven times five equals 35 plus that three equals 38. Let's do one more. Four times five plus, in parentheses, eight divided by two squared divided by four. Pause now to work it out. This one's answer should be 24. The P parentheses, eight divided by two equals four, squared equals 16. Four times five is 20, and 16 divided by four is four. You still have to add those together, the 20 plus the four equals 24. How'd you do? If you did well on this, you are on the right track and are one step closer to becoming a math superstar.